good evening, everybody. I want to welcome you to Grace Church. If you're new uh, to Grace Church, my name is George A. Savito. I'm one of the pastors here, and I'm joined by Pastor Arlene. Arlene, give him a wave here. Pastor Arlene Jackson is one of our pastors here. We're grateful uh, that you're here with us. And this evening, uh, we have the delight in receiving some new members, uh, but uh, you all get the extra added blessing of uh, being a part of their baptism and so we have four folks that are going to be baptized, uh, 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 or two, uh, three are going to be baptized, and one's going to be reaffirming their faith. And let me remind you that the Bible is clear, that all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And I entreat you to call upon God the Father our, uh, through our Lord Jesus Christ, that of his overflowing goodness he will grant all of these men and women that they may receive the forgiveness of their sins, be baptized with water and with the Holy Spirit, and may be received into Christ's holy church and made a member of the same. So I want to ask these folks who are standing here to be baptized uh, these very important questions. Uh, do you truly and earnestly repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Savior? Would you say, I do? And do you believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, and in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, would you say, I do? And then do you desire to be baptized in the Christian faith? Would you say, I do? And then will you uh, obediently keep God's holy will and commandments and walk in the same all the days of your life? Would you say, I will by God's help? All right. Uh, this, uh, this evening, uh, where Pastor Arlene is going to baptize the first one, Tom. So could we go ahead and have Tom's, uh, Tom's story told? This is the testimony of Tom Ensign. In 1969, I was a returning veteran from the front lines of the Vietnam War. After I got home, I knew I was totally lost. I turned to alcohol and drugs to make matters worse. I had PTSD and did not know where to go. After 15 years of being addicted, losing my job, and a period of homelessness, I knew I had to change. If not, I could only get worse. I remembered as a child I went to church, so I began to pray, God, take this devil out of me. I began to feel different. Immediately, my mind, my arms, and shoulders, I was different. For the first time, I had peace. I slept. I went to the VA and got help. God gave me a miracle. I am at this church because of my wife. When I met her, she said I should go to church. So for the next three years, I came here. I took the first communion of my life here. I feel at home here. I want to be baptized so I can continue to grow in my walk with God. Tom, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Hold out your hands and we can pray for Tom. Holy Father God, we thank you for Tom. We thank you that you brought him all the way through his journey uh, right here to this altar, right here to your place, uh, to be able to continue to grow him and love him as you always have. We ask that you bless him and keep him, grow him and strengthen him uh, to continue to be the man of God that you created him to be. And we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's give God glory for Tom. This is the testimony of Julie Lyle. In my life before Jesus, I lived in fear, always afraid of everything, and I was angry a lot and worrying about others. I even kept my light on when I went to bed. I always wanted to be in control of everything. I found Jesus when I st went, started going to youth group and began to pray with them and go to church again so I wouldn't live in fear anymore. I want to be baptized today because I want to change my life and not to be controlling and comparing all the time and not complaining about things and taking everything personally. So I feel I want to follow Jesus and show love. I want to give my life to God to hold and to do his work to show others because that is a gift that God gave me and I am thankful for that. Julie, I baptize you now in the name of the Father and of the Son 
and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Do you uh, stand out your hands towards Julie tonight? Father, we thank you in Jesus' name for Julie, that she's been created beautifully in your image, and that, Lord, you are the God who's restored and redeemed her, that you have great possibilities and potential, a great future for her. We know, Lord, that the rest of her life will indeed be the very best of her life as she follows you. We thank you for Julie today. We pray this in Jesus' name. Everybody agreeing said? Amen. 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 Let's thank God for Julie. This is, the bapt- this is the testimony of Daphne Zay. In my life before I knew Jesus, I was lonely and lost. I lived most of my life feeling empty and just going through the motions. Sure, I knew God existed. I'd even pray every once in a while, especially during a crisis when I needed to. I know God stayed faithful to me, even though I never really knew him. He stayed alongside of me, patiently waiting. God never fails. When I met Jimmy Walton, my life changed. I was saved. Jimmy helped lead me back to God. God has embraced us both, and together we praise him. I am here today before you to get baptized, not because I have to, but because I want to. Now I will feel even closer to our Savior. Thank you, Grace Church. Thank you, Arlene, and I want to thank those who helped me along in this journey. You know who you are. Daphne, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. God, we're so thankful that you have worked in Daphne's life uh, so diligently to bring her to this place right now. And we know that, and I know, that she wants to serve you so badly. And I know that the desire to serve you pleases you. And so I'm so pleased that Daphne has taken this step um, so that you um, and she both can continue uh, to partner together to transform people from unbelievers to fully devoted disciples of Jesus, giving you all the glory. Thank you for what you've done in her life and continue to do. In Jesus' name, amen. This is the testimony of Catherine Thomas. I was raised by my grandmother when my dad was killed in Vietnam when I was five months old. My grandmother raised my two brothers, my cousin, as well as myself. This is because my mother was devastated by my father's death and became an alcoholic. My grandmother was elderly and she tried to guide us all. However, when I was a teenager, at the age of 18, I gave birth to my first child out of wedlock. I gave birth to a second child out of wedlock at the age of 29. I know deep down in my heart I was lost, never committing to a church, but yet searching. I moved to Fort Myers, Florida. I began to attend Grace Church and felt welcomed from day one. Then my heart was touched by God, and I decided to reaffirm my baptism, to begin my great journey in life with Jesus Christ again. So sometimes uh, in life uh, we wander, and uh, then we come home. And so tonight, uh, we celebrate Catherine's homecoming. Amen? Amen. So Catherine, I hold your nose there. Remember your baptism and be thankful in your heart. Amen. Amen. And amen. Stand your hand out towards Catherine. Father, we thank you that you love Catherine most and best. And we thank you, God, that tonight, as she reaffirms her baptism, She remembers that indeed she is a blood-bought child of yours, that she is filled with your spirit, and that she has been given all that she needs in this life and in the life to come. So help her, Lord, to live into her daughtership, to know who she is and whose she is all the days of her life. We commit her to you now in Jesus' name. Everybody agreeing said amen and amen. Let's thank God for these four amazing folks tonight.
Now, uh, one of the things we do, and you might think it's kind of a little crazy, one of the reasons we baptize folks' faith first before we receive them into membership is because what's most important in our lives is not the church we're a member of, though we think that's pretty important. What we think is most important in our life is, uh, is, is your faith in Jesus. That partnership, that's what we call membership here, partnership is second. And so uh, today, uh, we're also receiving these folks. So Tom, you want to come and stand here? You want to help Tom, Pastor Arlene? And uh, you guys come on down with them. Let's, better yet, we're going to come stand with Tom. Y'all come on down with Tom, and uh, we'll help you. We'll help you here. We don't care if you drip all over the place, do we, church? Come on now. Carpet's cheap. People are precious. And, uh, and so um, I want to ask these folks, come on over here. This is good controlled chaos, we call it. All right. I want to ask these folks these important questions of membership. Do you here in the presence of God and of this congregation renew the solemn promise and vow that you made, some of you just a moment ago, or that was made in your name at your baptism, would you say, I do? I do. do you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and pledge your allegiance to his kingdom, would you say, I do? I do. do you receive the and profess the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments, would you say, I do? And do you promise according to the grace given you to live a Christian life and to always remain a faithful member of Christ's holy church, would you say, I do? And then will you be loyal to Grace Church and uphold her by your prayers, presence, gift, service, and witness, would you say, I will? We have one thing we do around here. Will you partner with us as we partner with God in transforming people from unbelievers to fully devoted disciples of Jesus, making sure that God gets all the glory, would you say, I will? Now, friends, I commend to your love and care these amazing people who this day are received in partnership here at Grace Church. Do all in your power to increase their faith, confirm their hope, and perfect them in love. Would you respond with me on the screen? We rejoice to recognize you as a member of Christ's Holy Church and bid you welcome to Grace Church. With you, we renew our vows to uphold it by our prayers, presence, gifts, service, and witness. Can we give God glory one more time for these who've been welcomed? Come on, church, stand to your feet. Stand to your feet and welcome these folks to their new spiritual home. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. Now just stay standing. Let's pray together. Let's pray together. Thought Father, thank you for these amazing men and women. Thank you that they belong to you. They've always belonged to you. Thank you that they know that they belong to you. And now, Lord, because we are brothers and sisters of Jesus, we belong to each other. And so knit our hearts together. Help these folks to find a place to serve, a place to be cared for, and a place where they can care for others. We thank you today for them. In Jesus' name, everybody agreeing said amen. amen. So stay standing. The worship team's going to lead us. Let's thank God one more time. Yeah.